हेलो ऑल एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल माय नेम इज चंद्रमणि पांडे एंड थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वाचिंग माय अदर वीडियोस टुडे आई विल गाइड यू थ्रू डिप्लॉइंग डीएमजी एप्लीकेशंस ऑन मैक ओएस डिवाइसेस यूजिंग इनट्यून बट बिफोर द डेमो लेट्स ग्रैब सम क्रूशियल पॉइंट्स इन मैक ओएस वी कॉमनली यूज टू एक्सटेंशंस ऑफ एप्लीकेशन डॉट डीएमजी एंड डॉट पीकेजी एक्सटेंशन a dmg app or disk image file bundles one or more applications similar to an iso file in the windows world many popular mac os applications are distributed in dmg format remember that a dmg file must exclusively contain file with the dot app extension other installer type won't be installed now let's talk about prerequisites so before we dive in ensure that the following prerequisites met for a smoother dmg application installation on mac os the very first one is mac os device must be managed by intune dmg application size should not be exceeded 8 gb and the microsoft intune management extension for mac os must be installed on the target devices before we begin if you are enjoying the content please subscribe for more for demo purpose i am using firefox application and to start with we have to navigate to the vendor portal and download the application which we want to deploy i have already downloaded the application and saved it in my download folder and i also downloaded the application logo Once these steps are completed, we can proceed to start creating the application in Intune. So to do this, we have to go to the Intune portal, and within that, we have to click on the applications, and then we have to select the Mac OS by platform, and then we have to add an application. So to do this, we have to click on Add, and then within the App type, we have to go down, and we have to select the Mac OS app DMG. and then we have to click on select now here in the select file we have to select the package which we want to deploy so let me select the file that is in my download folder and then we can see that it is automatically populating some of the basic information and then click on okay and now here we have to update the information the application name so just remove the extension and then within the description also remove the extension and in the publisher provide the publisher name for now i am going to provide mozilla firefox and in the category just select the category as per your requirement for now i am going to select the productivity as a category and then and if you want you can update the information url privacy url developer name owner of the application and if you want to give some notes you can provide in the notes section and then we have to update the logo let me quickly update the logo which i already downloaded in my download folder and then click on next and under the requirement we have to select the minimum operating system on which you want to deploy this application for now i am going to select the uh, mac os version 12 and then click on next in the detection rule we have to configure the ignore app version and the application bundle id and then application version in the ignore application version if you select yes it means that if the application is not installed on the device intune is going to push the application on the device but if the application is already installed on the device but with different version then intune is not going to push the application and if you click on no it means that whether the application is installed on the device or not installed on the device intune is always deploying the application on the device so for now i am selecting ignore app version is equal to yes and then we have to provide the app bundle id and the app version id so there are multiple ways to find this app bundle id and app version ID. if the application is already installed on the mac os then you can open the p list for that application and then you can find the 
app bundle id and the app version from that p list but like in my case i am using windows operating system to create and publish the application in the intune portal so what i am going to do i am going to open the application and then i am going to open this application with 7 zip and then i am going to extract the content once this is done we have to open the firefox folder and within the firefox.app application within the contents we can find the information.plist we have to open this with notepad if you go down we can find the cf bundle identifier we have to copy this and then we have to update under the bundle id and then for app version we have to find the cf bundle short version string and then we have to copy this and then we have to update the app version and now we have to click on next and then we have to assign this application so let me quickly select my mac os group and then click on next and then click on create now we can see that the application is uploaded successfully and if we go to the property and go down we can also see that the application is showing as assigned to all mac operating system devices now from the client machine let me quickly open the company portal let me quickly run a sync to speed up the process And after some time, if you go to the all apps, we can see that the Firefox application is installed on the device. We, we can also verify the information by clicking on the application and click on get information. And we can see that the application main name is Firefox and the application version is 122.0. And after some time, if we go to the Intune portal, we can see that the application status is showing as installed. And if we click on the device installer status, we can find the device name on which this application is showing as installed. We can also configure the preference setting using Intune portal. In the next video, I will show you how we can configure the preference using Intune and configure the application settings as per the company requirement. I hope this is an informative video for you. Thank you very much for watching this video.